Hi everybody. Um, I know most of you are places anyway, but um, very welcome tonight. Um, I work as a job coach with Employability Services Waterford. Our service is based in O'Connell Street, Waterford. We're there for 20 years and uh, our service, there's 23 of them around the country. So if you're living in Wexford or Tipperary, our service is in every county, thank God. So the day job, I sought employment for people with disabilities, with a range of disabilities. It's anything from dyslexia to acute mental health, um, physical disability, loss of a limb. You know, a lot of people have a dual diagnosis, have many disabilities, and we also help them with the payments that they're on. Sometimes they come to us and they're on job seekers and they really should be on the disability payment. So we would assist them with that road. But um, the main thing we do the, is to source employment on their behalf. So we source employment with whatever kind of work they want to do. It's not what we want to do, it's what they want to do. So we assess, we have a needs assessment, we have a, a job search stage. We get to know them to see what exactly, where their skills are, um, where they would like to work, if it's going to be part-time or full-time. We don't encourage full-time work because on the payment that they're on, they would lose their disability or their invalidity pension. So um, when we, we source employment, we do interview prep. When we secure employment for them, we are there at the end of the phone if they need us to call into them, sort out their, their tax or, you know, there could be other secondary payments that they're worrying about, so we look after that as well. And um, it works really well. We're allowed to work with them for about 18 months and then we're supposed to cut the apron strings and such, but it's very hard because you, get, you really get to know, I admire every person I've worked with because I think we all have a disability and really... They are just admirable, the work that they do, and they really want to work, and they have their payment, they have their medical card, and it works really well. So with the employers, from the employer's point of view, in case any of you are linked to an employer or have an employer that you might feel would, would support the service, if they employ somebody with a disability, from our service or any service, or even if you knew somebody, you can get the forms um, from social welfare and you can get them signed up. You don't have to be linked to our service specifically. So we can get um, an incentive of 6.30 an hour rebate back to the employer. So if the, 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 person has to, the person with a disability has to work 21 hours or more. And so that could be four hours a day, five days a week. If that's an extra hour on the last day, whatever. And um, the payment is an incentive for the shortfall of productivity. So prior to their injury or their accident, or you know they may be working at it 100%, but because of their injury or fibromyalgia or whatever their condition is, they're working at a slower pace. So it has to be 20% or more deficient, we'll say, but it's not to say they can't do the job very, very well. They can, but just slower. So the employer gets the 6.30 an hour, so it's, it's probably over about £550 a month they get rebated. So they have to pay the client at least minimum wage, which is 1050 and most times we would encourage the employer to give them an extra euro or two, depending on their, their expertise and, you know, it's okay it's not okay, but you know, to see an 18 year old getting 1050, that's fine. But a mature person, we would like them with their experience and their life skills to get a better rate starting off. So um, that's what we do. And if you're, I've given everyone a little brochure. The service is all around the country in every county. If you have any questions, you can call us, you can ring us. If you've a client to refer, even dyslexia, dyspraxia, that is a disability. It's a barrier to employment and to to aptitude tests. So we would help with all of that, with the yeah. drafting the CV and um, applying for the jobs, interview skills, all of that. So come find us if we can help you. And we're 20 years. Hopefully our funding will continue, Mr. Cullinan, into the future. <laughs> we're, they're supposed to be tendering out our service this year or next year. A huge worry because we don't know do we keep our jobs. And it's not just our jobs, it's the thousands of people we've placed in employment that we're still in touch with on, on, a, on a weekly basis. So hopefully the funding will continue and